this is the first time he's been creeping around? It was one other time. Come on. How long have you known? Give a f about your girl. Your friendship is bullshit. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You know everything. Get ready, folks, because we're about to dive into a whirlwind of scandal, intrigue, and unexpected twists in this season 10 finale preview. With juicy secrets unraveled, broken hearts, and even a surprise return, this finale is set to leave your jaw on the floor. So if you're craving the latest gossip, you've come to the right place. Stay up to date on all the spicy celebrity news with Celebrity Pop. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications now. Join the ride and let's dish on the latest scandals together because there's no better way to feed your appetite for drama. Boy oh boy, things are heating up in the world of Vanderpump Rules, and the season 10 finale is just around the corner. And let us tell you the drama is off the charts. We're talking lies, denials, and enough sequin pans to make Liberace jealous. In case you missed it, Tom Sandoval has been caught in a web of lies denying any physical involvement with Raquel Levis. But honey, the truth always comes out. Despite already locking lips with Raquel on a previous episode, Sandoval has the audacity to deny any hanky-panky with her. Liar, liar, sequin pants on fire. It seems that Tom Sandoval has a penchant for twisting tales as he dodged a bullet during a confession on Wednesday's episode of Vanderbump Rules. When a producer asked him point blank if anything physical ever happened between him and Raquel, Tom's response was slicker than a buttered up eel. With a straight face that morphed into a sly smirk, he compared his relationship with Raquel to that of his interactions with Katie Maloney, making us wonder if he's trying to juggle more balls than a circus performer. Nothing has happened between Raquel and I. Like, nothing. Like The truth is like a game of hide and seek and Tom seems to be an expert at dodging the spotlight. His friends, however, have their suspicions raised higher than Lisa Vanderpump's heels. Many in his circle question why he was seen hanging out with Raquel at the Abbey, a move as mysterious as a locked diary in a teenager's room. And with James Kennedy's girlfriend, Allie Luber, as the original whistleblower, you can bet that this Vanderpump puzzle is just waiting to be pieced together. And you know how these things go. Word gets around fast in the reality TV world. Maloney got wind of the weird interaction and didn't hesitate to question Sandoval about it. Now let's talk about Sandoval's defense. This man has got some nerve. He not only denies getting physical with Raquel, but also denies dancing all close with her in a dark corner of the bar. Instead, he claims it was just a group of friends hanging out and Raquel happened to be there. When Katie confronted him about the solo rendezvous at the Abbey, Sandoval's annoyance bubbled over like a shaken champagne bottle. Insulted, he insisted that there was nothing fishy going on between him and Raquel, claiming they were simply two peas in a large social pond. Huh, sounds fishy to us. And let's not forget about the insult to injury. Sandoval finds it insulting that Maloney would question his actions, claiming that it's not just an insult to him, but to Ariana as well. Honey, if you're going to lie, at least make it a good one. Despite denying any physical activity between the two, Sandoval was caught in the act by several members of the friend group. And to make matters worse, he even had the audacity to call the allegations funny when Sheena Shea brought them to his attention. In a plot twist that could give M. Night Shyamalan a run for his money, Tom Sandoval tried to brush off the allegations as funny when a heartbroken Shea informed him that Katie Maloney was spreading the word that Raquel was now gunning for Sandoval. Our dear Tom found the idea of a secret rendezvous at the Abbey as laughable as a clown on stilts. However, as Shakespeare once said, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. Meanwhile, the unbothered Raquel Levis remains tight-lipped, letting the drama unfold like a spectator at a ping-pong match. On the other hand, Kitty Maloney found herself in hot water when her words got twisted, leading to speculation that Ariana Maddox and Sandoval were in an open relationship. Quick to clarify, she explained that she meant the duo don't have rules for each other in their relationship, not that they were actively seeing other people. With all the twists and turns, it seems like this Vanderpump story has more layers than a seven-tier wedding cake. Katie went on to throw shade in a confessional, hinting that if Tom and Ariana do have an open relationship, Ariana is none the wiser. She went on to brand Sandoval as very manipulative, and it turns out her observations hit the nail on the head. Despite Tom's denials, Ariana discovered the harsh truth. Her partner of nearly a decade had been playing footsie with one of her closest friends. And so, the Scandoval bombshell exploded, leaving emotional shrapnel in its wake. Let's not forget about the upcoming Season 10 reunion, which host Andy Cohen has promised will be nuclear. We can only imagine the drama and the fireworks that will ensue when the cast comes face to face to discuss the scandal and its aftermath. 
Oh boy, things are getting juicier and juicier in the world of Banner Pump Rules. Raquel Levis, the former pageant queen, seems to find the whole situation with Tom Sandoval quite amusing, even though their affair turned out to be a disaster. In a preview for the upcoming season 10 finale, Raquel can be seen laughing while discussing the sordid affair with Sandoval. It turned out so horribly wrong, she says with a laugh. It's almost as if she's saying, well, that didn't go as planned, but hey, at least it's funny now. Any of this it turned out so horribly wrong. We don't know about you, but for us, the whole situation and Miss Levis's remarks were the most horrible thing ever. But while Raquel may be able to laugh it off, it seems that Sandoval is feeling the pressure. It's like watching a train wreck happen in slow motion and you just can't look away. But don't worry folks, if you're feeling left out of the drama, you can always stay in the loop with Spicy Celebrity News by subscribing to Celebrity Pop. We'll make sure you never miss a scandal, a cat fight, or a steamy affair because let's face it, gossiping solo is like a party for one and who wants that? Let's get back into the story. In the clip, Sandoval is heavily featured and appears to be trying to justify his actions to his co-stars. In the sneak peek, Sandoval takes the spotlight, like a moth drawn to the flame of controversy. Unapologetic and armed with a line of defense, he tells Sheena Shea, I was going to break up with Ariana regardless. But our girl Sheena, the good as gold singer, doesn't let him off the hook so easily. With a clap back as sharp as a freshly owned knife, she retorts, But you didn't. You fucked her best friend instead. <laughs> Mic drop, anyone? It's clear that the fallout from the affair is still reverberating throughout the group. And tensions are high as the season 10 finale approaches. With Raquel laughing it off and Sandoval feeling the heat, it remains to be seen how this messy situation will play out. But one thing is for sure, fans won't want to miss a moment of the drama when the finale airs. While Raquel's presence in the preview is as fleeting as a shooting star, her laughter echoes through the drama-laden halls of Vanderpump Rules. One can't help but wonder if her light-hearted reaction is a coping mechanism for the chaos she and Tom have unleashed or if she truly sees the humor in their disastrous liaison. Well, we don't think the drama is stopping anytime soon. The preview for the season 10 finale is absolutely dripping with it. Tom Sandoval is doing his best to justify his secret romance with Raquel Levis, but it seems like everyone around him has polished their detective skills. He tries to explain to his best friend, Tom Schwartz, that he felt something I haven't felt in a very long time with Raquel. But let's be real here, that just sounds like a load of hogwash. His confession, however, holds about as much weight as a feather in a tornado. In a separate conversation with his heartbroken ex-girlfriend, Ariana Maddox, Sandoval tries a different tactic, admitting that he and Raquel became like really good friends. Well, that just sets her off. Ariana isn't having any of it and yells at Sandoval. She isn't buying it. Furious and hurt, she exclaims, I don't give a fuck about fucking Raquel. Your friendship is fucking bullshit. Ouch, that's got a sting. But Sandoval doesn't back down and defends his connection with Raquel, leading to an even louder argument. No, it's not. Maddox, determined not to back down, raises her voice even louder. Yes, it is. Their heated exchange is more intense than a game of tug of war on hot coals. Seems like Sandoval is trying to have his cake and eat it too. And Ariana isn't gonna let him get away with it. But the real kicker comes when Ariana declares, I regret ever loving you. Wow, talk about a mic drop moment. I regret ever loving you. This season finale is going to be absolutely wild, and you don't want to miss a single moment. The sad thing is their once oh so goals relationship is shattered beyond repair. And Lala Kent dropped a bombshell that this isn't the first time Sandoval has been creeping around. Oh boy, sounds like he's got some explaining to do. Speaking of Levis, she's still in the picture, but insists that she and Sandoval are not an item. In a phone call with ex-fiance James Kennedy, she tries to set the record straight. But will anyone believe her? Meanwhile, Ariana Maddox is understandably upset about the whole situation. Lisa Vanderpump is there to lend a sympathetic ear and offer some much-needed comfort, but it's not all doom and gloom. Kristen Doty makes a long-awaited return, and she's ready to stir things up. But that's not even the half of it. Levis recently checked into a mental health facility following the revelation of her affair with Sandoval. And Maddox has apparently moved on with a new man, fitness trainer Daniel Y. But will this new romance survive the fallout from Sandoval's infidelity? All of this drama is set against the backdrop of the White House Correspondents' Dinner, where Maddox, Kent, and Vanderpump are rubbing elbows with the rich and famous. It's enough to make your head spin. So tune into Vanderpump Rules on Wednesdays at 9pm ET on Bravo and prepare to be hooked. With all the twists and turns in this season finale, you won't want to miss a minute. And remember, stay tuned to Celebrity Pop for all the latest celebrity news and gossip. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications now.